I'm going to be doing a get ready with me makeup tutorial. Um, obviously I look kind of like a mess right now. I am going to have to shower so I'm going to come right back after that and we can get started. Ignore the fan going. It's one of those like light fan combo things so I can't shut it off unfortunately. Hopefully you can hear me okay anyway. Um, and fair warning, this is probably going to be horrible because I actually don't know how to do my makeup. I don't know how it turns out ever. Um, so if any of you are like, knowledgeable about makeup, please don't be terrified of me using my hands to apply things and not have any actual technique. So, <laughs> alright, I'm going to go shower and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back from my shower. I didn't feel like washing my hair, but I shaved and moisturized, so I'm ready to go. I'm a blank canvas. Um, yeah, I guess let's get started. Um, I don't really know how much I should be walking you guys through this, considering I don't know what I'm doing. So it's not really a tutorial. It's more of just to get ready with me, but I'll try and explain what's going on. <laughs> All right, let's go. So all my makeup is just behind me right here. It's not very organized though. Uh, so I'm not even gonna, you guys don't have to see that. <laughs> so first I'm just gonna pluck my eyebrows. Uh, I don't think they're very bad right now. I plucked them like yesterday, but I do it like obsessively. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> so pretty much I just kind of start with my eyebrows and uh, wing it from there really. Uh, I'm already kind of regretting that I didn't separate all of my brushes <laughs> and get them ready for this because I just spent like five minutes just looking for this brush. <laughs> and I'm honestly not even going to really tell you guys what the makeup brands or anything I'm using are because half of them I don't know and they're all like hand-me-downs from super super old. <laughs> I don't even throw out my expiring stuff. So this is a double-ended brush. There's one with like the angled and then the rounded side. I use the angled side to do my brows. There's just this little palette. I use the black because my hair is still really dark right now. But after it fades a little bit, I'll move to the brown so it looks a little more natural. But I've always been a fan of like a really bold brow anyway, so I don't know, kind of like it. So as you can see, I try and just follow my natural brow shape still. Um, I don't fill them in too much because I already have really thick brows, so that's pretty much that. <laughs> and then there's the task of getting the other one to match that. So that's that. Um, this one is usually actually my favorite eyebrow. Um, actually, that's my better side of my face. That's why the camera's angled slightly. <laughs> Just to be honest with you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I sometimes use the curved end and I like highlight my brow bone and stuff. Um, but I don't know if I really want to do that today. I don't like having a lot of makeup on my face. It feels too like cakey. And it just kind of irritates me. I don't know. I feel like I want to rub it off. So I like to do my makeup so I can still touch my face a little bit at least. But next up, I just moved to the eyeliner. I just use a little liquid one with like the brush. Yeah, so it's just a little, little tiny brush. Um, people compliment my eyeliner all the time. 
but I feel like this video is going to be kind of a rude awakening because my eyes are actually really lopsided. Um, one of them is a lot more hooded than the other. So my eyeliner is actually never equal and it's all an illusion. So <laughs> don't judge me too hard for uh, how this ends up looking, okay? Okay, so that's the one. Honestly, I do it so messy. I literally just, I don't care. And from far away, it looks better, obviously. And the only reason I'm doing this is to film stuff. So it's not like I'm trying to really impress anyone <laughs> other than just on my phone screen. So there's that first one. And now, again, the task of matching it. Uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, so automatically that one looks better, of course. Look at that size difference. <laughs> that is ridiculous. It almost breaks my heart because almost every single time this one ends up like a huge monster and then this one's so pretty and cute. Like if you look at that side, it's adorable. If you look at this side, it's a bit much. But then I have to make this one ugly to match this one because it's just easier that way. Um, but I mean, I guess it ends up working out in the end. We'll see. Okay, so eyeliner's done. Far away, looks good. Up close, eyes close. Horrible. <laughs> uh, but that's okay, because like I said before, it's just for the camera, so uh, good enough. <laughs> and then I just curl my eyelashes and do some mascara. Always ends up bad. I hate using fake eyelashes. I love how they look, um, but I always get the glue in my actual eyelashes and rip them out, and in the end, it's just not worth it. So, I mean, the eyeliner's thick enough, you can barely tell anyway. <laughs> And then this is another thing, I don't care if I get mascara on my eyelids uh, because I have enough eyeliner, I really just don't care. Uh, I know a lot of people go in and clean it up afterwards, but I just can't be bothered. Okay, so that's that first one. Uh, it's not much of a difference, but I feel like it just makes my eye look even brighter. Um, and then I'm honestly not even sure if the eyelash curler is doing much or if it's just having the mascara, um, but I do it anyway. Just give myself another step, I guess, to make it feel like I know what I'm doing. Let's do eye number two. Okay, so top eyelashes are both done. Uh, you can see my eyelids look horrific. <laughs> And then I know some people don't do their bottom eyelashes, but I do. Uh, I just feel like, again, it highlights my eyes a little bit better. I don't do too much. I don't want to look like too emo, but... <laughs> Honestly, that's pretty much it for my eyes. 
Uh, sometimes I do um, eyeshadow. Usually I just use my blush on my eyes. Um, but I don't feel like doing that today. Sometimes it's too much. And then also sometimes I add either black or white to my waterline, um, depending on my mood, if I want to be more sultry or if I want to have uh, wider eyes. But then most of the time I just leave it uh, blank <laughs> for a more uh, natural, sort of normal look. So blush now. I hope no one is horrified. I use so much. I think it's so cute. try and give myself a little bit of like a sunburnt look. Um, I live in a basement so I don't get to see much sun. I'm so pasty. Uh, so this is the closest I can get really. And then for highlighter, um, I honestly just use a glittery eyeshadow. Don't kill me. Um, so I use these three colors right here. I've got white or I've got like a sort of like tan or I've got pink depending on my mood. I think today I'm going to use the tan. So I got those main highlighter spots. And then I actually like to go in with my finger. And just go... Boop. <laughs> It looks kind of ridiculous, but I think it's so cute. And then I also go under my eyebrows a little bit. Because I was telling you guys about how I sometimes do like a concealer or whatever to brighten it. Um, but I always just do the highlighter and I think that gives it enough pop as is. And then a little bit in the corners of my eyes. And a little bit on my cupid's bow. Honestly, so that's pretty much it for like my main face stuff. And then I do my lips. Obviously, I have pretty small lips. Um, so a lot of the time, I overline them and make them a bit bigger. Um, it probably looks horrific in real life, but that's kind of why I just do it for camera. Um, that always just depends on my mood, too. Sometimes I do that thing where you get rid of your cupid's bow and you do the big uh, top lip. Sometimes I do it where it's uh, just my natural shape or even smaller. Uh, sometimes I do it where it's just overlining regularly. Uh, and then the color changes to red, uh, normal, whatever. <laughs> so I'm just going to do uh, my basic overlining regular lipstick. So first I go in with just a really, really neutral liner. Really close to just my actual lip color. I find that that helps make it look more natural in the end. And because it's such a neutral color, I don't really have to worry about how messy I do it um, because I go in afterwards with red just to highlight some areas even though I'm doing a natural look. This thing holds so much lipstick in it I always have to like almost squeegee it out before I put it on because I don't like when it's too too heavy. As you can tell, my lips are uh, somewhat bigger. And I just go through, fix some of those messy edges, and then I take the red. And 
just fill in some of those extra spots. So really, really simple. That makeup's pretty much done. Uh, and then, yeah, always depending on my mood, sometimes I add more sparkles. Uh, sometimes I do like the eyeshadow. Sometimes I add freckles, uh, whatever. But this is just my go-to basic look. And of course I have to take my hair down. I can't leave this horrendous bun in. And then I'm gonna look so much better because it's just gonna look so complete. Okay, one second. Trust the process. I usually don't do my hair I have a lot of it and I just don't care enough <laughs> to curl it or straighten it or whatever that just depends on my mood and how much time I have <laughs> I think that pretty much concludes this I have some filming to do now um, hope this was a nice little insightful look to my routine uh, I hope no one's using me for tips because god forbid you follow me please go watch a an actual beauty influencer <laughs> But I think my makeup suits me and turns out decently well, even though I'm kind of a mess with it. So, 